You got this, you got this. It's just a, a haircut, you've been doing that for 20 years. All right, we're back, just in time for the spooky season. I took some time off to heal up. As you can see, the, the face is looking better. Better than ever. It's looking better than ever, you hear that? I got Vardan sitting in. <laughs> we got a great guest today, Noah Beck. He's real easy on the eyes, and I'm grateful that I get to look at him with my two perfect 2020 vision eyes. I know we got another TikToker on the show, you guys are sick of them. But right now, unfortunately, they're the only celebrities that will be willing to do stuff like this because normal celebrities have publicists and they won't let them do collaborations like this because it looks terrible for everyone's careers. So luckily these guys don't really know that much about the Hollywood business yet. All right, let's get on with the show, right? Bring on Noah. Oh, what the f Yo. <laughs> Holy s***. We put him in, in, in there because he's not allowed on the show anymore. My help. Sit down and we're going to send some inmates in there to beat you up and gouge your eye out. What's up, dude? Thanks What's for up, coming. Thank you nice to meet you. What do you want to do? You have an idea? You want what you want to do with the cut? I usually do like one on the sides, but then just on the top. Looks like kid, huh? Vardon, feel free to interview him. I'm gonna get started on the haircut. Well, it's good to have you guys here. Cut down. Cockroaches in here. Holy Did he break it? I've been walking here since yesterday. Do people know these? I thought we were gonna shoot yesterday, so I put that door on yesterday and I kept them locked in there for a few hours. But he over exaggerates. He's been in there for one day. I did five months. I got blood all over my hands! Is John okay? Bro, your brother is a loser. He just wants attention. <laughs> that scare you guys? Uh, yeah. So, what made you guys want to get into TikTok? Like, my sister was kind of giving me because she had um, like 6,000 followers on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I kind of took that as a challenge. And so, I made like three like trending videos that night and I woke up to like 15K followers. So you're motivated by the competition with your sister. And then Blake actually reached out and he's the one that like got me here. Oh, nice. Which is a crazy yeah. story. So you helped him out. Yeah. yeah. That's like my friend Todd. My friend Todd brought me in. Yeah, he had an alcohol addiction. Yeah, he needs to go to rehab soon. But you know, now as an influencer, you have a responsibility and a duty to be the voice of the next generation. Yeah, 100%. With that, how would you persuade climate change deniers in Congress to help you with that problem? Or would you work around the problem the deniers propose? Second, while the deniers may be a useful rhetorical category, there is no substantial political block organized around scientific disagreement, and there are blocks organized around helping protect various fossil fuel industries, and the political parties surrounding them making skeptical notes in the margins of the IPCC reports. Again, the axis in this argument is of power, not science. Your thoughts? <laughs> Yeah, you, you stumped me. <laughs> Anything to add, Artem? Honestly, I don't think climate change is real. Uh, I would say f everything. So is that I'll your f you, f you. Is that your honest answer? Yeah. Where did you hear this information? From me. Right on, the polar ice caps are melting at a rapid speed. We need to take action now. Humanity, not just one. We all need to step in and do something about this. You guys got any new TikToks coming up? I don't know. No, just, we don't really plan on We just set up a phone, take 30 seconds to do a dance, and then post it. <laughs> I might start dancing too. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, dog. Way better than your brother. <laughs> we can collab. That'd be so fun. I'm a dancer, yo. Yeah, Get back in the room. It. Get back in the room. We're not ready for you yet. It's my house today. My house, I pay the I rent can for do today. I want. I can do whatever you want. Oh, you got a baseball bat now? You're going to threaten us? Yeah, I'm going to get it. Your neck. It's good like if he has a bad You can't break the pumpkin, man. <laughs> Do they feed these pumpkins? <laughs> Don't move. Well, you're gonna kill us all. Don't move. Oh you move, my. We're all dead. How deep did you do your research? Research? Yeah. On what? Don't I hate spiders. I'm gonna bat it. No, Don't, Don't hit him with a bat. Just Don't hit him with a bat. Bro, Just wing man. me. If you make the spider mad, it's gonna bite him. And then we're gonna have to take him to the hospital. I don't have insurance. Holy shit. I'm seriously yeah. making everything worse. Everybody's stressed out here. You're pissing off the spider. I'm gonna bat your other nine. 2020 vision, asshole. My eyes got fixed. You're still fat. He's gonna have to you're still fat. Super Go in the room. I'm fat? Yeah. You're 80 years old, dude. You still make Haircut, retire. I'm glad I skipped my uh, Zoom class for this. Bro, that spider is terrifying. And I will cut this, but it is poisonous. It feels like I'm at a foster home Christmas party. <laughs> a what? <laughs> a foster home foster a Halloween home. party. <laughs> like we're trying to make it all better. with <laughs> You guys dating anybody? Yeah, I'm dating Dixie and Amelia. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Except yeah. re renaming the show Conversations with Grandpa. <laughs> 
I swear to God, next time I'm coming over there and I'm gonna use violence. How long you guys been together? Publicly together? Like we came out like a few days ago, like a week ago actually. Nice. How'd you pop the question? We used to go to Malibu a lot and like hang out. And then there was like this lifeguard tower that we always used to sit at and just like talk and I, stuff. I, I feel like I can visualize. I feel like I'm watching yeah. the notebook. Yeah. So basically I took her to Malibu. Uh, September 25th. We went to the lifeguard post and kind of just like, I decorated it with like candles. Like I brought s'mores because nice. she loves s'mores. Oh, Matt the Rat King's here. <laughs> Matt King, we have another vlog squad member to show up. Nice, man. Yo, Matt. <laughs> hey, Matt, I didn't even know you were coming. <laughs> he doesn't even need a haircut. He's just coming to hang we went out. to the lifeguard post and then basically I told her to like wait in the car. I got some stuff out of my trunk, decorated the lifeguard post, like rose petals, like candles and stuff like that. And then I came back when I was done decorating walked her there and like she knew what was happening I think like as soon as mm -hmm. she saw like it was decorated and then I just popped the question <laughs> what yeah. a sweet kid man you are <laughs> prince charming in real life no no I can't even look him in the eyes <laughs> you just get lost in his eyes get the <laughs> back in the room dude what how many times do I have to tell you, you? Him with the if I rat. see a stupid face one more time I'm gonna hit you you try to rat on me it's your episode control your the camera guys I can't control the rats in your apartment. You got roaches and rats everywhere. Clean up. Stop leaving Burger King all over the floor at night. So you and Dixie have been together for what? About a month now? Yeah, technically. Nice, yeah, because last time we got on the show, she was dating somebody else. And that was just three, ep three episodes ago. Yep. But she was a sweet girl. Mark, I love him, He's a great guy. So you got a cool father-in-law, if it goes that far. Yeah, super cool family. In this business, things don't really last long. So if you want, you can do your breakup stuff because this takes like three weeks to come out, this episode, and it might not be dating anymore. I want to try just so we have options, like we broke up, didn't work out. I don't even want to like put that into the universe. <laughs> Fair enough. Fair <laughs> enough. Are you going to stay in school if the people love you and want to see you on the show more? No. No. Oh, you're going to stay here and do the show? Yeah, because who needs school, am I right? We got an opportunity here that kids would die for. Jeff, stop pushing your habits on the kid. <laughs> he doesn't want to be a f***ing cocaine smuggler. You dropped that at school too. <laughs> I dropped that because I was dumb. Dude, yeah. I don't know if you're looking at me or past me. Same joke every time, dude. This is why people don't want you here. Uh, this is my this chair is now. Oh yeah, that's this is a nice chair. I'm gonna piss on this chair so you know it's my territory. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, do it. Piss on the chair. Piss on the chair. Yeah. Nice. Yes, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Get in there. Yeah. yeah. Pissing all over this chair. <laughs> Yeah, we got a new permanent co-host. Oh yeah, that's some good piss. <laughs> oh, I love that piss. Oh yeah, cozy. Why are you still here? This is my, this is our show now. I'm here because I'm making the show better. That's why I'm here. Where do you guys see yourselves in 10 years? Honestly, you know, with the family, nice wife. You want to have kids in 10 years? Yeah. How old are you now? 19. <sighs> yeah, that hurts. <laughs> How old are you? 30. I should probably be settling down soon and start having some yeah. kids of my own. 30, oh my god, dude. That is gross. Man. At least he's had more girls than you've ever had in your life. Nice. nice. The amount of bodies he has is the amount of burgers you eat in a day. <laughs> Hell yeah. And you eat a ton of burgers. You go to in and out you never come out. <laughs> <laughs> You know what he looks like? You guys know that fat kid from Up? Russell? Yeah, Russell. He looks like <laughs> It's the are grown version of Russell. You guys are high as hell. No, I'm not high. You smoked the Kyle the camera operator over there? Look at him. I, I thought he was dude. sick, but he's high as ball. You need like an ice bath or something. <laughs> an IV, maybe. An EpiPen. Why do you guys go with the front bangs, all of you? I'm not gonna lie, I have a big forehead. And like, you don't have a big forehead. Now, Bryce, on the other hand. <laughs> That's a big ass yeah. forehead. <laughs> he gets hit with a gust of wind, his whole career is over. God damn it! Nice. 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 Enough of his Get bull the out of here! <laughs> Get the. <laughs> oh. Bro! That pisses me off, bro. I need what? a couch. That shit's annoying. Get the spider off. I'm the being serious. Bro! I hate specs! I on my stuff! Okay, calm down. Bro, when I told you don't f***ing do it, don't do it. I don't even know what's real and what's not yeah, over here. Yeah, yeah. Come on, man, right now. What is everybody on drugs in this place? What do you think of your hair? Oh, that's sick. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, it's dope. What do you think? Everything Scale of one to ten. Ten. Like for sure. I like it. I like ten. the back. I love it. Ten. The back is nice. Let me see the back. Is We're back, back, baby. We're back. It's looking good. You might have had a oh, horrible experience clean. here. It might have been... No, terrifying. I it. So Sorry much. about the spider, but at least you walk out with a good haircut. Yeah, of you course. know what? You made it. Lifetime supply haircuts. Love that. Thank you, Jeff. Kyle, where's the spider? Where's the 
The spider. Nah, <laughs> don't you play. I just huh? saw it in the box. What? No, it's not in the box. Oh. Bro, Kyle, you need a f***ing ambulance, bro. I just want to go to Burning Man and suck my own dick. I just want to 